I'm sure most of us know that coding takes a long time and as a freelance developer and designer, sometimes the best answer and the best solution for a client is to use a no code builder. And the one that I like to use is Framer. And I just wanna give you a quick idea of how quickly you can put together a basic website with Framer, okay? And the first thing I would look at is to just insert things. So you can come here and there's loads of pre-made sections. So you can get a whole page ready to go or you can do a section. So let's just quickly build out a website. So you can just click and add things immediately. Now you can adjust the uh, height here to fit so everything fits in, but let's just quickly put together a website. So I'm gonna go insert. Now maybe we wanna have some social proof. Boom, 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 something like this. Then I'm gonna add another section. Let's say we've got features and let's say we've got some other stuff here. Okay, and then pricing. FAQs to address objections and then sign up today. Okay, so quite quickly I've put together a very basic basic website Let's say I want to have navigation as well. So I'll add this and I can just zoom out and Drag this up to the very top if it's a little bit annoying here. You can always go to click away click layers see my navigation here. I'm gonna bring it up to the top To the top to the top <laughs> okay, here we go. Dun, dun, dun. That easy, even with me messing it up. Okay, so quickly, I've just put together a basic website. Now, it's currently not responsive, but I can make it responsive. And there you go, like you've put up a website. Some of the stuff is interactive already, ready to go. Now, one of the things that I've run into, and you probably will also run into if you're building with low code builders, is sometimes you want custom components and things that they don't currently offer. So I'm going to show you quickly how we can make one of those things. So I also know how to code and I recommend people learn how to code. But the nice thing about Framer is it's built with React. So you can make custom components relatively quickly, just like you would in a normal project. So if I click over to assets here, I can come down here and there's a little button for code and I can just make a new component here. So I'm going to just call it uh, my form okay and i can hit enter and now i'm in a code environment and i can update this section here however i want for a custom component and one of the limitations i've found with framer is forms are kind of annoying to use so i've made this one already let me just paste it in if i hit save there's my form ready to go um i just coded this out real briefly so we're using objects for styling I have made all of the styles down here and this is my form. So one of the nice things with custom coding your own forms is you can add validation. So the basic validation I'm talking, you know, making something required, making sure that it's the right type of input. So here I'm using an email input. So if I enter something here and then something else here, something here, I've made all these required. I can hit submit, but it's not an email. So you've got that basic validation going on. Equally, if I don't enter something there, it'll tell me that this is required. So I can quickly make my own little custom form. So I'm gonna hit save. And now when I go back here, I should be able to just drag this into my project somewhere. Let's say I want it here. And there it is in my project already exactly the way I want. And you can do this if you have to interact with APIs or anything like that. Um, you can do it all through custom code. So that was just a quick intro as to how you can add custom code and custom components to a Framer website. And you can put together a website super fast and you can also customize it in loads of different ways. I do have loads of information on learning the basics of Framer because obviously I've just shown you the absolute basics. There is a link down below to the free version of one of my courses. And then there's also a paid version if you really like it. So that's it for this video. I hope you found it somewhat useful. Again, if you've never heard of Framer, definitely check it out. It's really easy to get up and running with. You can design things yourself. You can use templates. You can add coded components that other people have made. You can just copy and paste things in. And if you've got a client, generally they don't care what things are built on as long as it works. So if you get good at this and you already know how to code, it's just, it makes your life 10 times easier. So hopefully that was helpful and I'll see you in the next one.